Okay, this video is to document the problems that we are having with the vines that are coming from the three bow plaza property onto our property and how we've been trying to fix the problem. Obviously, we've been chopping them down. I've been poisoning them. You can see where I've tried to poison them. We've been chopping them on almost a daily basis. This one reached across and started strangling this tree up here. You can see it's part of the tree hanging. We're beating it back. It takes about two days for it to grow back over a fence to the tree to try strangling it again. But the biggest issue is this fence. Um, we've done everything on our side to maintain or do um, general maintenance to, to beat back these vine growth, but the only way to control it is to destroy it at its root, which is at the other side of the fence, which is not my property. I have attempted to go over and do that, but there are security people over there do not appreciate me monkeying around. So we've been trying to just control it from our side every day. It's a daily battle, and now it's become a, a, a problem that I think that there's just no way we can get around it. Right now, it's destroying, literally destroying my fence. It's more than just a pain in the ass with it strangling out other trees. As you can see in the forest on the other side of this fence, it is strangling out the trees on that property and killing everything. Hence, the tree that went through my garage was killed by vines. And um, anyway, so the vines are growing through the fence. I've tried everything to eradicate them and, um, and to con control them, I can't. Um, here's this is new. It's just a, a big example of how this lack of maintenance on their side has destroyed my property. Look at this fence. The entire fence is being destroyed by these vines. There's no denying that the, the vines are what's causing it to fall apart. Um, these vines go all the way around the property. At one time when the fence was over there, it went around that side too. But it goes all the way down the side of the property on this fence, which has now destroyed the fence. There's nothing more I can do other than to ask them to try to not only try to eradicate their vines, but to replace my fence. I'm thinking at this point, it's their responsibility for not maintaining their side, and I can't do anything more on my side to prevent it. As you can see on this, it's all the way down this fence, over to my garage where it had, has grown and ripped the gutters off my garage. A uh, tree went through the roof that was strangled. As you can see all the vines hanging on their side of the property. Uh, the tree that fell was strangled by vines and killed. So their vines are destroying their property as well. But the vines are now growing. They've ripped the, the gutters off my garage, what's left of it. Destroyed this fence, destroyed the fence all the way down the side of the backyard there. And now, actually, wait till you see what's happening on the other side. As you can see now, the vines are growing inside of the garage. They're taking over uh, now the inside of the garage. So this garage is going to have to be probably demolished because the gutters being ripped off by the vines has caused water to get in and it's caused rotting and the roof was destroyed by the tree that fell on the shed or on the garage list full when the vines strangled it out. So you can see this vine. I got the vines off of this gutters but it was too late. So it's down. Now the vines continue over here. Here I've been able to control them back a little bit better but again not, not before they destroyed my